Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 15 of my Minecraft Falling Falling Survival Let's Play. So I actually wanted to build a new house in this episode, maybe not a permanent house for a living, but maybe we'll turn it into a storage room or something. I'm not totally sure on what it's going to be, but I'm going to start off here by getting some oak wood because we're going to need quite a bit of wood for this. We're going to make it look really cool. And since I deleted that border function of the data pack for this custom map, which you can download in the link below, I just feel like I should say that because I didn't make this map and I want the creator to get credit, Mr. Birdie. Uh, but yeah, um, I want to make a really cool house, and since I can build outside the map, I can actually make it look pretty cool. I don't plan on adding, at this point, any huge, huge structures to the outside of the map, so don't worry about that. But, like, I may extend one or two blocks off the edge, just for aesthetic purposes. But yeah, I got a good bit of oak wood. We don't have a whole lot of materials, so I think what I'm going to have to do is either go up there and use my block farm, or just sit here and uh, get some trees the good old-fashioned way. But I do have a ton of bones, so actually I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to put up all this stuff, get organized, mine some uh, oak wood real quick, and then I'll come back when we have a bunch of wood. Now, one thing you guys suggested time and time again is that I should make a bamboo farm, and I do agree. So I want to section out an area for the bamboo farm. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to be, but good thing we're getting a lot of saplings. That's good. Um, and someone said to put the nether portal one block down. Only reason I'm not going to do that is because I don't want to go through all the pain of destroying it and then putting it back because it's going to take a while, and I only have one diamond pick. So I'm just going to kind of, I like how it offsets where they're placed, I guess, kind of. But I'll use this. It, it is a good fuel for furnaces, I do agree. I'm not exactly sure why I haven't done this. Uh, but yeah, this should be a pretty good-sized bamboo farm. I guess I can put them one over. It's not really going to matter. But we'll section off that area and just use that for the bamboo farm. So I do listen to you guys, I promise. And you guys, a lot of you are like, Neo, you're using a bot heart in all of our comments. I promise I'm not. Like, it really is me doing it. Um, I mean, granted, sometimes when I heart them, I may, like, miss something, and it's not on purpose, it's just that when you have to do so many, I mean, sometimes you're just gonna mess up and miss things, and it's not on purpose. I still love you guys at prom- Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot you could- Oh, wait. Ah. Aha. See, I guess I didn't really realize that we could get flowers and stuff like this, so that's cool. Um, I don't really know why we need flowers, but we can make the base look a little bit better, potentially. Yeah, I just want to grow all these, and like I said, I'm just going to farm these off camera, get a bunch of oak wood, and then we'll build a really cool house. Okay, well, I've been doing this for a little bit. I think I have enough wood. We have exactly a stack. Unintentional. Wow, bamboo grows extremely quickly, and uh, yeah, you can cut it with a sword super fast. And we can't walk in between it, I think, in most cases, unless it's like super, super close together. Uh, but yeah, this is a very good f uh, fuel for furnaces, so thank you guys for all of you who suggested Neo. Why are you not using bamboo, you idiot? Because coal really is rare, so it, it, I really do need to start using more of it. Um, I don't know, can you just directly smelt stuff with the bamboo? Ah, uh, you can. Uh, granted, it doesn't do very much, but it's honestly, I mean, it's a renewable resource. So we're going to pick somewhere to do this. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to start. Um, but basically the thought is is I'm gonna make a tunnel house through somewhere in this area I'm not exactly sure where obviously we have a mob farm that we can't really go through and there's a hole So we're gonna have to dig it um, a little bit higher up than anything else we have so we're gonna come like over here I don't want to be near the mobs just because I don't want to hear them all the time whining and uh, Grumbling or whatever they do whatever you'd call it that they do. Okay. I need to make some of these. Okay Jeez, I know that's annoying. You're like dude Fix yourself. Okay, so we'll probably make it maybe like right here I also hear this spider spawner and it's imperative that we find that because there should be sugar cane somewhere in it and uh, Like like or near the spawner in a barrel. So let's listen. Do we hear? I Don't I do I hear spiders, so I'm gonna try to search in here before we get started on the house um, But yeah, the house should be really cool. And there's coal in here. I know I hear those spiders, but they may be kind of far away, so maybe it's a lost cause for now. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pretty cool structure out here. So I'm going to make all of these into planks for now, and uh, we're going to make a pretty cool house. Now to access it, like we're just going to have to use the ladder, of course. Um, but yeah, the structure of the house is going to be like a circle. So we're going to need to put three, four, five blocks down like this. And then I will actually I want it to be further away from the wall. So we're gonna go over here this way and make it like this Okay, so three four five and then go up two like this and then it's gonna be one of these and then we're gonna do Another two like this, right? Yeah, and then we're gonna oh wait. No. Yes Neo 
You're not a builder. You can't even do this. Okay. And then we're going to essentially make a circle, and then we're going to dig out what's inside of the circle. And uh, you'll, we'll end up with a really cool structure, I promise. So this was that two, so I need to do five more. So, But what am I even doing? Hold on. Wait, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then it's gonna be like one, hold on. Oh man, this this is way bigger than I had intended, hold on. See, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with the house, so that's why I'm kinda doing it on camera, just to show you that it's not as easy as you think to build a house, especially when you're floating in the sky and you could fall and lose all your stuff really easy. It makes it a lot more stressful. Um, I think maybe three is better, but I feel like I did this wrong over here. And I don't want to lose this wood. Ooh, that is good. We will get that coal. I said I don't want to lose the wood. <laughs> and then look what's going to happen. We're totally going to lose it. There's a bunch of little places that I kind of want to... Ooh, gold? Nah. There's a bunch of these little places I'm going to have to fill, off, fill in off camera. They're just going to be a pain in the butt to do. Uh, but yeah, let me get the base of this house completed, and then I'll come back when I've done that. Okay, I figured I'd save the final touches. One, two... Okay, so I built a giant circle. You guys are looking at me like, Neo, you're, you, dude, you're crazy. Um, but hear me out. We're, we're going to extend out from it. We're going to look at it, and it's going to look super cool. Um, I plan on filling it all in with glass panes or something like that, so we may have to get a little bit extra sand. But I'm going to extend out for a second just so I can show you guys what it looks like. So it's going to be a big old circle like this. I'm going to drill everything out that's behind it. That's going to take a while. <laughs> it should be pretty fun, though, right? And we'll uh, use up our entire pickaxe. Um, but this house I think is a good starting point because our other house I mean while it looks fine, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it I do kind of want to overbuild like a really cool house um, And okay, I'm gonna ask you a question, you know, because you're the fans who are watching the series um, I know my survival let's play uh, It's not ended yet. I still need to do a proper ending for it uh, because I do want to start a new world if I'm going to do a normal survival let's play. But that's that, that's not the question I'm asking. What I'm trying to ask you guys is if I were to make a uh, new Falling Falling season after this one's sort of finished out, which is not even close. I'm just trying to think for the future here. Would you guys be interested in seeing a 200 by 200 version of the map? Where it's the exact same map, exact same everything, but everything's going to fall a lot slower, right? Because there's a 200 by 200 area instead of 25 by 25 blocks. Uh, let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. If it is something you're interested in, let me know. And uh, I, I'm thinking about doing a series like that. That would be very interesting, in my opinion. I think that that would be super cool. Um, it would mean mobs can spawn on the same layer that you're on. Uh, which would add another little element of, oh my gosh, what what have I done? What, what have I chosen to play? Uh, so yeah, if you guys would like to see that maybe for Season 2 of this map, I would really appreciate your uh, feedback down in the comments below. But yeah, thank you guys for all the feedback on the series so far and for watching it. Um, I just realized I don't have a way to get <laughs> a way to get back home, so we're going to make a little bit of a, a construction path right here just so I don't end up dying. But yeah, I'm going to go put up a bunch of this stuff so I don't have a full inventory, and then we'll get to work. I won't show myself digging out the entire thing. Granted, it's going to take me probably a little, uh, a good bit in real life, but I promise I'll come back uh, if I spot anything interesting or if I've dug out something super cool that I feel the need to show you guys. But yeah, I'm just going to put some stuff up. Um, our plant chest is a little lacking, so we may have to go ahead and make another chest just for more plant stuff. And we'll just put it on the edge right here and we'll just put like flowers and stuff like that because unfortunately we don't have very much room in our chest area and uh i don't know i like the way this house looks and everything i mean i'm not hating on it i feel like i did a pretty good job you know with with uh the circumstances i'm dealing with here which is you know just kind of crazy uh but yeah hopefully i get a bunch of really cool stuff when i'm digging it out so that i have some stuff to use in the actual house itself what i mean by that is like a bunch of and what am i doing like a bunch of andesite or a bunch of diorite or something so we can do some walls and floors that look good uh but yeah let me get to digging it out it's gonna take a good bit but i promise i'll come back when it's done and uh yeah should be pretty fun so i'll see you guys when i'm like done digging it out or i find something cool yeah, I just I just fell and lost all my stuff, so that's that's great. <laughs> that's absolutely great. I keep losing all my things. I'm debating turning on keep inventory because, man, that just that really kills me because like, uh, like I just made all those iron tools and like that was absolutely wonderful. I was so happy to have all those iron tools. I've made a little bit of progress, but like guys, it's a huge, huge 
Huge. I mean, like, I cannot express how big that thing is. It's going to take a while. We probably won't get it done this episode just because, I mean, I got class tomorrow and I can't just be playing Minecraft for five hours trying to drill it out. But I will do my best to get it done as most as possible, get the most of it done that I can. Um, oh, wow. Well, we have a bunch of steak, I guess. We had a lot more steak, but then, well, you guys know what happened. Um, I'm sorry for that, that sort of static in the background. My air conditioner has to be on. It's like over 100 degrees outside, and if I don't turn my air conditioner on, then it's just gonna, it's just too hot, guys. So I do apologize. I know, like, you probably can't hear it very much, uh, but if you do notice it, I am sorry. Like, I mean, I wish I could turn it off, but, like, my girlfriend's here, too, and it's, like, it's not fair to her to sit out in 80 degrees, like, when the apartment gets to be, like, 90 degrees outside or whatever. But, hey, at least I didn't have to clear my inventory out or anything. I mean, that's nice, right? <laughs> you know, all the wood I had just farmed, it was in my inventory, stupid enough. So, I lost all my, uh, all my resources. That's great. I kind of want to go see the mob farm. I know I'm getting distracted, uh, but I've been building that, and I can just hear all my mobs, like, you know, in the mob farm, just, like, gurgling and groaning. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I were to walk over there. Where's my, where do I have a sword? Yeah, stone sword. There we go. We're back to the stone age once again. Um, let's see. Is there a lot of things in here? No. I thought there would be a whole lot more because they'd just been spawning, but I guess not. Um, yeah, I need to get... Oh, that just disappoints me. I fell again. Like, I... Uh, how did I do that, dude? Like, yeah, I got confused for a second. Oh, I guess I got conf even more confused. I only have one oak sapling. I, somehow, after all this time and all these trees, I'm so stupid that I just... I, I let them all break, and now I only have two oak saplings. So I gotta be very careful. Uh, to not lose all those because that would be very unfortunate. So I'm just going to mine these trees right here. And uh, we're just going to mine all the dark oak too. And I'm just going to plant a bunch of oak because we need like a crap ton of oak wood for this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to drill out that big thing. That's going to be, I guess, a multi-episode thing I just figured out because I started digging it. And, you know, I was digging for like, you know, 10 minutes and like, wow, this, I barely made any progress. And it's just, I think the reason it takes so long is because of the variety of blocks that have fallen, you know, like... You know, there's wooden blocks, and then there's sand-type blocks, and it just it just takes it takes a lot out of you, you know, having to switch your tools all the time. Uh, someone suggested I install the Paxel mod, which allows you to have, like, a multi-tool and whatnot. I'm considering it, <laughs> because it does take it does take a very long time to uh, mine all this stuff. I want to put this stuff up, because I feel like I'm going to fall again, and if I fall again and lose all my stuff, I'm not sure I can handle it. <laughs> Like, I fall, <laughs> I don't know how many, if someone wants to watch every episode and tell me how many times I've fallen and died, I'd really be curious to know, like, genuinely, I want to know how many times I've fallen, because I feel like it's a lot, but I'll show you the progress I've made, let me just get to the top of this ladder, uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm sorry I keep dying, guys, I know it's annoying, because it's, well, it didn't really reset our progress that much, we just had a bunch of wood, and, uh, I really need torches, and I hope there's not crap in here, oh no. Is there? No. Okay. And I don't have any torches, but there's coal right here. Hold on. I know it's dark. It's dark for me, too. Give me, like, two seconds. Look. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's light. But, yeah. Um, I've dug out a little bit, I guess. I mean, not that much. I was trying to go all the way to the other side over here just so I could feel like I've made some progress. I don't even know. I really don't know how I feel. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I was going down my ladder. And my stupid head, like, literally just fell off the edge, like I've done, like, ten times. I really do need to take you guys' suggestions. I need to heed your warnings and put, like, a platform down there so at least when I fall, I can recover my stuff. Uh, but, yeah, there's the edge. So if that gives you any sense of how much stuff I have to dig, I have to dig this entire circle back, this entire distance. And, yeah, that may be something I'll do off-camera, um, like, in between this episode and next. While I want it to be really, like, big and cool, it's just going to be, that's like a long-term project. So I'll do as much as I can right now without wanting to smash my face into the keyboard. And then, uh, next episode when you come back, it'll be dug out. We'll have all the stuff from it, hopefully, and I'll show you guys what I get from it. Hopefully some pretty good stuff. But for now, as I said, I'm just going to dig some more. And, uh, hopefully we get something pretty cool. But yeah, I'm trying to dig back the exact- Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me, dude? You've got to be <laughs> kidding me. You've literally got to be kidding. Like, I know that was, this is just a joke, right? That was just a joke, right? Right? 
Dude, I'm having so much trouble on this world. I feel like I just explained. I bet like everyone's just like, yeah, dude, I'm done watching this series. That's so stupid, Neo. You're an idiot. Bye. I agree. Like, dude, just stop watching me, guys, so I stop making this series. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, though. Like, th th there's no way this is real. All right. Well, I guess I'm back to the... Thanks, game. That, that's just what I needed. Um, but yeah, you guys say, Neo, combine your tools and your inventory. I, you can't. You gotta use a specific tool. I am, uh, I'm, I'm mistaken. I thought you had to have a tool to do that. Like a, like a block you place on the ground. But huh. Well, thank you for the suggestion. Uh, but yeah, that just really demotivated me. That I just, I just had gotten all the stuff back and I just killed myself again. I don't even know how, I don't even know what I was doing. Like, dude, what is your problem, you idiot? <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna dig out some of it off camera. I don't really have anything in my inventory. Uh, that was the plan for this episode, was gonna be me. Oh, dang it, that was the last of my steak, too. I mean, it wasn't the last of my steak, like, really the last of my steak, but oh, oh. Oh, well, thank God some of our stuff survived. Some of our most important things lapis and a shovel. Is it an iron shovel? Is it? It is an iron shovel. Okay, I have to get that. Do I have any extra pains? Do I? I do. Okay, so I can break it to get this shovel. Um, a shovel is worth it to me. Okay, there we go. Just had to break two anyways. It was a full durability shovel too. You know, I'm not even mad, but I'm kind of... Well, you know what? I actually am very upset because I died again after... Oh, after like... I, I just... Where did my leather go? Why is my leather in here? Dude, Neo, you're literally crazy. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to... I know I've said this like a million times. I say I'm going to do this, and then I just start talking, and it's like, I get it. I get it, guys. It is a little bit annoying. Believe me, I, I bother myself sometimes. Um, but I was going to smelt some steak up, and I guess we'll just do it like this, and then put this in here and call it good. But yeah, let me go back up, I guess. <laughs> I don't have any food. I'll just grab some... I'll just grab some melons, it's whatever. I'll probably lose them all again anyways. I don't even know what I was trying to explain right before I died. Let me see if I can think about it on the way up. Okay, well I just realized I don't have any torches and I can- Oh, see what I mean? Now all the stuff spawned up there. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, this- What? Why did you even explode, creeper? You freaking butthole. Well, it just decided to just explode for like no reason. There was nothing even here. Nothing even. I mean, it was far enough away from me. Let's see. Is there anything else in here? No. Thank. Thank God. The game wanted to be nice to me. I know you guys can't see. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, here. We'll 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 fix the problem real quick. This is so frustrating. I'm just trying to do a project and I keep getting killed and deterred. I don't even. I literally don't know what I was trying to explain though before I. Uh, uh, hurt myself there. I think I was trying to say I'm just gonna dig out or yeah What I was saying was oh man it even removed my pattern. Do I have any extra oak wood? Surely I have a little bit <laughs> you guys are like dude Why'd you just jump like that? But yeah, I just I, when I died I fell like that and I, I don't know why I died I just need to get better at it. I guess let's see if we have any oak wood Yeah, I really do need to make a platform. Do I have any oak wood at all? No I literally don't have any oak wood. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get some. Okay, I definitely hear a lot of mobs now. Let me go check this. Is there a lot? Yeah. A pretty good bit. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, even if I get this XP, I'm just gonna die and lose it all again. So, like, there's literally no point. Was there coal? No. But yeah, I, I got a little bit of oak wood. I was trying to get some saplings. Okay, there we go. That's all I needed was a couple of saplings. I can start with two. That'll usually give you enough to farm. I guess I'll break these. There's no point in me not doing it. What I need to do is eventually just get like a crap ton of hoppers and leave a few blocks of dirt to place these on and then the rest of them just be hoppers because that would automatically collect the, the saplings a lot better and a lot more efficiently than my head can because I literally can't do it. <laughs> like, I just forget. I'll break the trees, right? And I just forget I broke them. Uh, but yeah, let me get back up there. Let me fix this circle and we'll start digging some more. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing in here. I'm very nervous. Uh, okay, just a bunch of zombies. I can handle that. Okay, I thought it was gonna be. I thought you guys were gonna be something threatening. No, you're just a bunch of stupid zombies. You guys don't know your head from your toes because you're a zombie. You don't have a brain. Your brain rot. It's all rotted. 
Get out of here. I wish every mob was as easy as a, okay, you know what, we'll just use this. Efficiency, okay. But yeah, what I was trying to explain before I was so rudely interrupted by death is that, um, there we go, that's the shape. I'm trying to dig this thing back in the same shape, I'm gonna be so careful, in the same shape that I've lined out right here. And then after that is complete, we're gonna fill in this with glass, the other side with glass, and then we'll put a floor material in or something. Um, I think it'll be like two stories or so. I mean, it's obviously gonna be more than one story. Did I just hear a creeper charge? I swear, I have like PTSD from these mobs now. This map has definitely made me a better, uh, it's made me control my, my, my internal rage every time I die in Minecraft a little bit better, which is good. Um, the only frustrating part is like now I have to mine with stone tools and they just they're just so slow like you know what I mean they're just so slow like everything I mean it just takes hours to do this but you know that's the grind guys that's just what that's how you gotta that's how you, that's what you gotta do but yeah uh, I'm gonna do this for a little bit and then really two obsidian that close I have the iron uh, or the sorry the diamond pick I can use. But yeah, let me do this for a bit, and then I promise I'm going to actually cut it now. And I will come back after I've done as much as I'm going to do, and then we'll figure out something to do the rest of the episode. I promise. All right. See you guys in a bit. Okay. I'm back. I just dug out a whole, whole, whole ton of stuff. I've put up my inventory countless times. I don't really... I, I've used so many pickaxes by now. I don't know how many... I've gone through a full set of shovels, axes. No swords, though. haven't really encountered any mobs. Uh, but yeah, we didn't get a whole ton of wood, which is honestly fine um, But I did make some good progress, which is a good thing um, but Yeah, other than that, I mean, yeah, we, we've got a bunch of cobblestone now, which is great We've got andesite, we've got a little bit of everything um, I'm not sure why that didn't go up right, but we've got a good bit of stuff now, which is really nice I'm excited that we've made a little bit of progress on it. I know you guys are excited to see you're playing Neo you're talking about it, but you're not showing us anything. So yeah, let me sort my inventory a little bit more and then I'll come back. But yeah, I just wanted to announce that I'm kind of excited. I'm finally done. I'm not done with it, but I'm done with it for now. Okay, well to the best degree I can accomplish, we are sorted. Don't have anything in our inventory. We haven't lost any armor durability, thank God. Uh, but yeah, so I dug out this entire area. I haven't found really anything. I found like five iron ore, which is good. Three obsidian. And then just some just basic other stuff a few coal. There's a few blocks. I wanted to come up here in mine I didn't find any diamonds or anything exciting. I really hope there's nothing in this hole. It's quite a big hole now We've dug out a pretty good area. I'm gonna fill this in because it just worries me. Is there anything a creeper? That's okay. You know what you can help us dig out. Come on help. Dude. Yeah, thanks for doing your part creeper Idiot he doesn't realize he was helping the cause he was helping the person he's trying to okay get out of here I'm gonna put some torches down because yeah as you guys can see, we did make a good bit of progress. Um, with whatever blocks I can, I'll fill this in. Unfortunately, it can't be this exact shape. But yeah, like right here, there was some coal. Um, and really, other than that, this is the only notable thing. I mean, I found some other blocks, obviously, but nothing too, too crazy I wanted to show you guys. Uh, but yeah, we have this dug out a little bit, so we're making progress. Next episode, or in between this episode and next, I'll dig out the rest. Yeah, that's a lot of stone pickaxes. I'll probably make an iron pickaxe just to speed it up a little bit. But as you guys can see, I'll waste a little bit of oak wood to do this to get the cool the cool picture. But yeah, as you guys can see, the house is going to turn out quite nicely. Obviously, this won't be there. And then, haha, <laughs> stupid head. That's where we dug out to find uh, iron and such. Oh, you can see diamonds right there. Okay, so we know where another diamond is. <laughs> that's good. Maybe we should go get that. Where is it again? up here yeah so that's a diamond block which is nice but as you guys can see our house looks very nice that's why I wanted to remove the world border you know I can have little things like this I never really wanted to do anything too too crazy um, but I honestly I just thought it was a good idea for me to remove it because the way I build I want some freedom I don't want to be constrained or anything like that I don't even know if I put anything in here I don't think I did but we'll go ahead and remove this stuff there was some coal in here which is nice well you need that for torches and whatnot but yeah, let me make sure that all this stuff is lit up because I really don't want things to spawn in here that like it's just gonna be annoying if I come up here to start working and there's like 80 mobs and I have to like wait and kill stuff. But yeah, they will definitely spawn um, up on top and I can't really prevent that except for adding slabs. But honestly, I won't be going to the outside of this very much. 
Um, obviously the way it is now is, you know, it's only like that because of the construction. Obviously I'll move some stuff in a bit. Um, and we won't have all that weird stuff on the outside that looks bad. Because I know it looks bad. But, let me grab some dirt. I wanted to fill this in. I'm just, too, I'm too lazy to go in and fill it in all the way. But I'm just going to throw, like, a torch and a torch. And then just fill it in, like, that. That should be good. Something like that. Just to show that that's not supposed to be there. How did, how did that happen? That's annoying. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not the biggest setback. I think we can fix it. But yeah, I wanted to go up to the top and have some fun with the block farm. Um, one thing I definitely want to get going, and we may go search. What was I crafting again? Why can't I remember what I was crafting? I mean, college, college is making my brain... Oh, a ladder. College is making my brain go to mush again. Uh, so I am sorry that there's going to be some delay between uploads. Obviously, I have classes, so I can't be uploading as often as I used to during the summer. Uh, but I'm not going anywhere. I know previously, like when I started school, I kind of disappeared and ghosted out. But I've built this community bigger than it's ever been before. And trust me, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I said I was going to go do that. But in reality, I want to find sugarcane real bad. I really want to just start enchanting because we have an excellent mob spawner. Um, and if I could get, you know, Unbreaking 3 or something, you know, some cool enchantment, that would be pretty dope. So I'm going to go into the nether. And I guess we're going to go search for... Um, I don't really have that much stuff in my inventory. I'm gonna pick it up, put it up though, in case we die. Yep, let's go. Let's just go to the Nether with our stone tools. That'll work just fine. Uh, but yeah, I, supposedly, hold on, I'm gonna make all the loud noises go away by not recording it. I won't give Minecraft the satisfaction of knowing that it's blasted my ears to the fullest of extents. But yeah, I'm gonna make. Well, there's already a staircase here. I'm gonna go try to find this. This. Oh wow. <laughs> we could have just died pretty easy. I want to go try to find a fortress because, well, you know why. Uh, there should be sugarcane in the chest for it. I think the map creator set the stuff to be special, and uh, it's not going to be your typical mob drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little tunnel here just to get out to where we need to go. It's going to serve a double purpose. Do I not have any torches? I'm an idiot. Hold on. Let me go grab torches. Okay, I think the loud noises are mostly gone. Um, I did get some torches. I don't know why I'm putting them down. I only want to have them because it makes the recording a lot more bright. And, uh, oh, okay, really? <laughs> why? Oh, freaking dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys always give me crap. You're like, Neo, you're so bad at Minecraft. How have you played nine years? Blah, blah, blah. And, guys, I've played for nine years. Uh, but mind you, most of my time was spending creative building, so like I didn't play survival for nine years in a while. That burned way longer than I think it should have. But you know, I don't get to make the rules here. Um, but yeah, no, you have to realize that most of my time playing Minecraft was spent in survival or uh, creative, just because you know, you, if you don't know, like like if you're new to my channel, most of my videos used to be tutorials, right? Um, that was my specialty. I thought I was very good. You know, I I still think I'm pretty good at building houses. Uh, but yeah, that's what I used to do the most of, so that's why I seem like I'm so bad at survival, because honestly, I am bad at survival, and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm definitely not very good, but maybe that's fun to watch, I'm not sure, but a lot of the people you watch, they're so good, you're just like, how? Like, no one's ever like that, but, you know, I try my best, but I don't want to lose the portal, so I'm gonna take a picture on my phone of the coordinates of the portal, because... God forbid I lose this and I find the stronghold and I can't find my way back. So we'll take a picture. We'll pull out the phone here. Click the picture thingy. And, uh, okay. So, okay. It's really easy to remember. It's just like 0, zero 52. All right. Let's go find this fortress. Hopefully we can in this episode. I think we'll be able to. Uh, but if not, you know, it's not the end of the world. Like, I'm just kind of sprinting around in here carelessly. Like, I'm invincible. What is that, gravel? Well, hey, oh, there's soul sand, okay. Um, soul sand's something I want to get, obviously, because I want to make a really uh, nice, and I kind of want to make it in somewhat in the center of the map, I'm not really sure, but I want to make, I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. Okay, crouch, crouch, okay, okay, okay. Um, I want to get this soul sand so I can make a soul sand water elevator that'll shoot us up all the way to the top of the map. Um, that's going to be a lot more convenient, although I will have to place 256 buckets of water by hand. I may do some experimentation to see if I can, uh, like for instance, if I can fill in like this with water buckets and then just break it down like that. If you guys are watching and know, understand what I'm saying, here, let's pretend these are water buckets. Okay, I put four water buckets here, 
you know, and it makes an infinite water source in this 2x2 two two area. If I then dig out the area below it, will that allow the soul sand uh, still to make the bubbles and shoot me up, or do I have to do, I have to do that a different way? Because I honestly don't know the answer. I'm not asking because I'm fishing for comments. I'm asking because I, 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 I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I don't see the fortress or anything thus far. Maybe going to the end first and getting an elytra will make this easier. I'm kidding. Like, I could. <laughs> There's that. That's not going to happen. Um, but yeah. Um, ooh, that looks oddly suspicious. We're going to go over there because that just looks suspicious. But I'd really like to find that sugar cane. That would make things a lot better. That really does look suspicious. There's no way that's a naturally spawning thing. Did the map creator put this here in hopes we'd find it? No. It's just a, it's just a hole. Dang it. I thought, I thought I just uncovered the secret of falling falling. But I think this is just a normal nether. Um, with the chest loot tables changed. Sorry, I had to sneeze. But yeah, I'm going to try to find the fortress. I'll just sort of run around. And uh, if I can find it, I'll come on camera. If I can't find it, I'll just obviously be like, I can't find it. And then I'll come back. But yeah, hopefully I find it. Wish me luck, guys. Um, we'll see if uh, anything good happens. 500 blocks later, look what we have here. A beautiful, beautiful nether fortress. Um, no, I'm not sure if this is a traditional fortress. I'm going to go over here where it looks like I could just walk into it. Um, the coordinates now are like, you know, there's about 600 blocks away. Which in the nether, it takes a good bit. It took me like 15 minutes, but I did find it. I just walked straight. If you guys are interested in playing the map, it's straight east from your portal. I hope that didn't spoil it for anyone. But yeah, let me gather a little bit more uh, stuff right here. Hopefully, oh man. I just I just realized something. When this pickaxe breaks, I can't gather any more materials, which means I won't really be able to... <laughs> oh lord. I need to be very careful about this then. Because running out of uh, pickaxe is not good. And I know it's dark in here. I do apologize. Um, this is as bright as I can make it. Um... Which I, I will remember to do the brightness thing. I say that. I'll do my best to remember. Uh, okay, we have another wart, so we can do some brewing now, which is kind of helpful. I never really liked brewing, right? Because to get, like, magma resistance potions, you have to go to the nether and farm things that you need to have magma resistance to fight, kind of. So I never really understood it, but, you know, I think that's more of... Oh. I think that's more of a I'm just bad at the game type thing. But yeah, I'm gonna run around the fortress. If I find any cool chests or anything like that, I'll definitely show you guys. But it's not the most exciting thing just running around. Let me just check over here. Make sure there's no chests, just like immediately. And then I leave, the, and then I didn't just like cut the camera for no, okay. <laughs> that's what I mean. Okay, well that's, you know, that's actually very good that we found a diamond, but I'm looking for sugar cane. Okay, that's very good. Cat spawn egg? Uh, that's not normal. So we could have cats now <laughs> in the game. Um, it's good that we found the diamonds. I want to save that for our enchanting table if it ever comes to that. But yeah, I'm happy with those finds. That's pretty good. And you know what? Wood isn't super common, so we're just going to take these as well. Why not? Um, I hear blazes, and I am not equipped to fight anything. And if I die, I'm going to be a very, very upset person. So I'm going to try to be as careful <laughs> as I can with this. Th <gasps> okay. Where did that blaze come from? That's my question. Because if I get set on fire, I'm dead. So I just got to play this very safe. Okay, okay. You can't, dude, you can't. Okay. I think we're okay. I don't know how I escaped that, but I think we're okay. I don't hear the blaze anymore. I don't know how long it's been. But yeah, there's no blaze. I did, honestly. I, I picked up the experience and stuff. So I did kill it, but I didn't die. We're just gonna, We're just going to forget that nothing happened okay I'm gonna try to find some more chests <laughs> I'm just looking for sugarcane I'm not trying to fight you guys please please don't kill me I'm literally just looking for sugarcane and I'm not sure I need to pick up all the chests that way I don't double dip in the chests and I uh, think I find one and then be all excited and then be like nope sorry you've already found this chest there's nothing in it dude and I'll just be like why game why but yeah I'll come back when I find some more chests hopefully there's some sugarcane I see a chest is there sugarcane this is the question? No, there's no sugar cane. You know, we're getting a ton of horse armor, which is, you know, just absolutely fabulous, but no sugar cane thus far. Maybe I was misconstrued. Someone said that the nether fortresses should have some sugar cane in the chest. I'm not sure exactly what that means other than they could have sugar cane in the chest. 
Uh, maybe someone was confused by how I phrased the question. I'm not sure. I'm not. Okay. You know what? Definitely these are messed with because that's cats and parrots. I don't think those are typically found in a stronghold. Oh man, there's so many gas. But yeah, I'm just gonna run around this world. Hopefully I find um, another chest soon. I'm very weary about those. I don't want to fall and die. Um, was I just up here? Yes, I was just up here. I'm stupid. But yeah, let me... Oh my god, I hate gas. They're so loud. But yeah, I'll come back when I find a chest. Okay, I just... Sorry, I had to... Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I ran up there, I started the camera because I didn't see the mobs and I got flustered. Um, so there's a magma cube. I'm not really worried about him. I'm most worried about this blaze. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, this is a sticky situation. I need to be better prepared. What am I gonna do? Okay. Now the blaze has spotted me. Oh no. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, this- yes, Neo- Neo, you're such a genius, dude. You're so smart. Okay. Yes, this works. Okay. Okay, and then- Okay, and then I can just- Right? No? Dude, come on! And now he's gonna shoot me through this one little hole. Okay. We're gonna have to- We're gonna have to figure out a better way to handle this. Where's that other blaze? Okay, you just shot- Okay, so surely you're dead now. Right? Okay, the blaze is dead. Will I die? That is the question. No. Is there- No. We have rabbit spawn eggs now. Thank God. <laughs> We're finding everything but what we need. And you know what? At least we can spawn cats, cows, rabbits, and parrots now. That's really what I was looking for. Thank you, Minecraft. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> okay. See, I just have to play these things very- Carefully. I know the episode's running a little bit long. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave until we find what we came here for because I really really want to find um, Some of those sugar canes, but yeah, I'll run around and again I'll come back when I find something good, you know, I'm not mad I'm just upset because I had to walk so far to find this chest and I was presented with that But yeah still no sugar cane. I'm honestly I'm not upset because this is iron and we need iron um, the horse armor, it's not too great when our chests, our inventory is full of horse armor, but yeah, I've just been running around. Oh, nope. <laughs> At least we're getting a lot of gold and stuff, I, I guess. I, I don't know. I feel like the diamond horse armor is kind of good. I don't know if gold is even any good at all. I've never honestly used horse armor. And uh, I mean, that's a more recent thing, I guess, so that's excusable. But the fact that I've never brewed potions and I've played this game nine years is kind of... I mean, I guess potions, you know, in, in a time scale of the entire game are somewhat more recent than you'd think. But I'm going to keep running around like a chicken with my head cut off until I find this freaking sugar cane. It should be pretty soon, though. I, that That's the hope, at least. I mean, hey, that's a lot of iron, and I'm not mad about that. I'm glad we got so much iron. I think that'll make this a lot easier. Uh, I don't really need Ocelot spawn eggs, though. Well, I'm back bearing bad news. We didn't find sugarcane. But hey, we found three diamonds. So we have four diamonds. Found two more obsidian, 11 iron. You heard that right, 11 iron. We doubled our gold supply. Um, we have a bunch of spawn eggs, which is cool. We also found chicken spawn eggs. Uh, I think that's what I'm most excited about. I'm just gonna set them in here. Um, we have kitties, rabbits. We can, we can populate this whole thing now. We can put some cats down in here. I could put some rabbits, uh, parrots, I guess, you know, we'll, we'll put down a couple of parrots and just see what they do, uh, but yeah, we didn't find what we were looking for, but I have an idea before I end the episode, I know that it's already run very long, I'm just gonna put the horse armor in here, I don't know where it goes in the saddles, uh, but yeah, we'll populate this area a little bit, hopefully parrots don't end up in the nether, um, I do remember when we were building our, uh, our spawn I need to get a new pickaxe before I do this and food I ran out of food and I was like I have to come back and I was just like I'm done uh, so yeah unfortunately we did not find the sugar cane in the nether but alas I have the answer potentially and we can make an iron pickaxe too because we got all this extra iron flowing through our veins which is nice I guess uh, we'll throw this one in here the junk chest let me eat this melon um, but yeah, I remember I made a spire up and I remember finding the cave spider spawner um, I don't remember exactly where I like burrowed up originally. I'm trying to find where that area is I think I just need to go into my spawner and uh, break a few blocks And then let's see if I can find it because I remember I made an area where I had dug up 
And let's see if this this works. Um, and it was an area where I had just sort of dug. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I'll run around in here um, and kind of mess up my spawner a little bit. And see, see, I can hear the cave spiders already, so I know that they're, they're somewhere around here uh, pretty close. I just don't know exactly where they are. So let me burrow around in here. There we go. Okay. Well, I found the original spot, and now I believe I had encountered the spawner, and I just like... There it is. Okay. So this is the cave spider spawner. Um, now, Mr. Birdie had told me that the cave spider spawner should have a barrel near it, and in that barrel lies sugar cane. So I don't know exactly where uh, the sugar cane's gonna be, but I definitely want to keep. Oh, okay, I definitely want to keep the spawner, uh, just because you know you can transform it with a spawn egg, and I want to transform it into something pretty cool. Uh, but he said somewhere around it will lie a barrel filled with sugar cane, and I, that's the only thing I care about. I got tunnel vision. All I care about is the sugar cane. So I'm gonna run around here. I'm just gonna dig out a big area around it and see if I can't find this barrel and uh, if I can I will uh, show you guys when I come back but I'm just gonna dig off camera and uh, hopefully we find a barrel filled with goodies I don't know at what coordinate it spawns I, again I have no further information other than somewhere around this uh, thing will be a barrel so I'm just gonna look and I hope I'm successful okay I'm done digging and I found the barrel. It was right up there the whole time. Um, I did find, oh no, I did find this, which is great. So we got that. Got that. A diamond is always welcome. But is there sugar cane? <gasps> there is sugar cane, guys. After all this time, you know what we found? Sugar cane and beetroot. I don't really care about the sugar cane. Now, if I die with this, I'm just going to cheat it back. I'll be honest with you. I can't lose this sugar. Um, as for everything else in here, we'll leave it in here. Um, we'll just let that happen how it happens. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good end to this episode. We've found what we've been looking for for... I don't know how long we've been looking for it, but we've been looking quite a good bit of time for it. So I'm happy we finally found it. Um, we can let our cows chill out and not be freaked out by this wood pillar that appeared in their home. Not sure how oh, the Enderman. The Enderman's trying to sabotage everything, I swear. Enderman, they just want to sabotage. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching this episode. All of that to find this sugar cane. I may have regret putting all these animals uh, down here just because they're so loud. You know what? It may not actually be that big of a deal. But what I am curious about is all the mobs that are gonna be in here. Because yeah, there's about there's well there's 60, so there's really not that many. But <laughs> As you guys can see, that's going to be a pretty good bit of XP. So I think next next episode we're going to finish. I'll try to dig out the rest in between this episode and next. I hope I don't forget. I don't think I will. Uh, it's also a lot of mob jobs. I'll come up, there and get, come up there and get those after the episode. But yeah, thank you guys for watching episode 15. I'm sorry it ran a little bit long. Some of you like it, some of you don't. Some of you get mad when it runs long. But looks like our parrot buddies are having fun. They're playing with each other and whatnot. But I am so happy we have this sugar cane like you guys have no idea. And look, an egg. We can start our very own chicken family. Which, you know, I may uh, condemn, th condemn them to their own house at some point. Uh, but yeah, whoever suggested bamboo... Well, actually, you know what? It wasn't just one person. It was a bunch of people that suggested I put bamboo. So for those of you who did suggest it, I really do appreciate the suggestion. So thank you guys. Uh, you guys are what makes this series into something truly, truly special. Um, I've been having a ton of fun with this falling, falling thing. I mean, it's just so much different than your typical map. Um, I was thinking, you know, maybe at some point we'll do a little randomizer survival let's play. You know, a few episodes of that, maybe. Let me know what you guys think about that for those, for those of you who are still watching. Uh, obviously, you guys are like the big, big fans. So you guys are going to say yes. But I'm curious to see what the average person thinks. But I didn't ask it early on. Not that you guys are bad or anything. It's good if you're still watching. But I don't know how you listen to my voice this long. But anyways, thank you guys for watching episode 15. And uh, yeah, see you guys in episode 16. Bye.